very proud of our team's effort tonight. Um, we, we played three games in five days. Um, it was very tough on them. We don't have our, our, our depth is not exactly where it needs to be in terms of getting kids a lot of rest right now, but that's developing. And um, it's very hard playing three and five days because your day off, you're having to spend a lot of time on getting yourself prepared for the next opponent instead of fixing things that's going on within your team. And so I'm, I'm, I told the team when we got back from Hawaii we needed to win three out of three, and they did that. And a big reason why we did that is because of Valencia McFarland. Um, Louisiana Monroe has a great team. I told the team before we played them, they're as good as the um, majority of the teams we've already played. And so I want to commend them for a great effort, and they've got a great team. i got a lot of respect for their program. She does an unbelievable job. But Valencia McFarland just took over that basketball game in the second half. And she's done that these last three games, and she's stepped up in leading our basketball team. And I just couldn't be more proud of a player than I am of her. Questions for Valencia? Valencia, what was the, the difference? Um, Valencia, what was the difference for you in the second half? And also, just you played 38 minutes, double-double, only three turnovers. I mean, what was working for you? And I was going to kind of ask you, like, y'all got the lead, I guess, 44-43 right there at the beginning of the second half, and you had a couple of key old-fashioned three-point plays that kind of sparked you guys, and, uh, you know, you guys kind of separated. Did you put it on yourself to be more aggressive at that point and say, hey, we've got the lead, we're not going to, you know, let's not re relinquish it? Yes, I was being aggressive in the first half, but I just couldn't get shots to fall. In the second half, they started falling for me, and I was able to put them in. Then the strong night at the free throw line. I know you had some struggles early in the year, but the last couple past two games a lot better. What have you ch anything changed? Not much. <laughs> just just more confidence, just you know, getting in a rhythm. Yeah, that's about it. Anything else you want to All right, questions for coach. I tell you what's changed in her free throws is I've got to coaching her a little bit and I've helped her free throws. I'm just playing. She's, uh, she's, she's not changed anything. She's done a great job with that. She's got in the gym and worked on it. And then a pretty big lift from, from Gracie today, especially especially, or especially early in the, in, the, in the first half, you know, stay within striking distance. What do you think of her effort today? Gracie's worked hard all summer. Um, Gracie had one of the best summers of any kid that I, I could ask for. She got in the gym. She made a lot of shots all summer. Um, I, the way she's playing right now in the last couple games, more relaxed and making shots, that's the way I thought she was going to play from the start. And, and she had some shooting woes early in the year, but I just told her to keep shooting. And she's a shooter. That's what she does. And she's finally found her rhythm a little bit. She's, she's, she's slowed down. And I still think she had a big game today, but she's going to have a bigger one. She's going to have a game where she makes seven or eight threes. And I feel that coming on for her. And I'm just so proud of her, not only offensively, but she's getting better defensively each game. And Gracie Fazell, I mean, she's, she's getting there. And I'm, I'm just very, very happy for her. Coach, they had a guard, had 34 points, didn't yeah. make one three-pointer. I guess this, what, was the defensive penetration for them on y'all's defense there, or was that a, you know, a result of them getting some second chances of rebounds, or what did you think? She's a tough matchup. Um, that kid right there is an all-league player in the Sun Belt. Um, I've seen her play a lot due to my dad coaching in that league for many years, and, and the Simmons kid is a tough matchup. She, she plays the four for them but has guard skills. And you don't see that very, very often. I mean, she's a high-level player. And so now you've got your post players out guarding her on the floor. And with your posts are not as comfortable at guarding somebody away from the basket. And so she was able to get in there and do some things. But I'm, she's, a, she's a tough matchup. She's a very good player. She's got a chance to do play at the next level professionally. And um, we got some foul trouble there on her, which made us go small because we were down a little bit today with Danielle McCray being out with an injury, which hurt us a little bit. And um, so we had to go small and put De'Ara Moore in there, and then they put her inside on us. And that was a tough matchup for De'Ara there. So um, a lot of respect for that player. I knew coming in she was a great player, um, and she showed it today. Um, but like I told the team after the game, she had 34, but we won by six. I'll take. I'll give somebody 34 every time we win by six, and so. But we'll fix that. That stuff we can fix. We can fix that, and we'll. Fi I'll fix that as a coaching. Our coaching staff will fix that, and and um, we'll make sure that don't happen again. But just you know, she's a great player. How do you think Tia and Kenyatta handled their foul trouble playing through that? Then then when y'all went small, how do you think y'all responded? Um, you know, we just. I told them just find a way to win. Tia, Tia and Kenyatta have been playing unbelievably well for us. I was very happy that Shaquilla Joseph got back going today. She's been struggling a lot, and and she she told me this morning, hey coach, I'm I'm ready to get back going. I got to get back going. Help me out here. And we talked a lot this morning on finding ways to get her back going. And she looked more comfortable out there today. 
and, and which helped us when we got in foul trouble. And, but Tia and Kenyatta did a great job of handling that. They, they pushed through. Um, Tia Fowler, whose minutes were down, but then you look at her stat line. If she plays her normal 28, 29 minutes, she probably has another double-double. And I think she's, what, third in the country right now in double-doubles. And, and by the end of the year, I think she could be leading it. And, you know, she has 13 points, eight rebounds. But one thing that tickles me more than anything, four steals, and they all came in the second half. And they were huge steals by Tia. Huge steals, and she's active. She is. And Kenyatta Jenkins, um, you know, she's getting better every game. And, and, you know, her stats don't show what all she does for our basketball team. She's only averaging six or seven points a game, but she plays hard defensively. She guards the one through the five position from time to time. Um, she has to run from, from defense to offense and run to that rim. And she's she just so involved in things we're doing offensively. And a lot of Lentis buckets come because of Kenyatta setting a screen for her. And so, you know, I'm, just, I'm very happy with her too. And then just, just nine turnovers, and Valencia just had three in 38 minutes. So is that about where you want it to be? It's, well, it, it's a little bit below where I want it to be. My goal with them right now is to average about 30. You know, if we can, the way we play and as fast as we play offensively, uh, we're going to have some turnovers. And I tell them every game, we can keep that under 14, 13 or 14 turnovers, and we can force the other team into 22, 23, 24 turnovers. That will be, that'll be advantage us. And um, we did that tonight. 22 turnovers for them, nine for us. On the third day of the third game in five days, and our legs were shot. I mean, there was times out there I had to call timeouts just to rest our bunch because I knew our team was tired, but I just, I just told them just dig deep and find something else, and they did it. We dug deep. This is a big win for us. This is a big win for our basketball team right there, for our confidence, for our toughness factor. And, and this, this win right here is going to win us a lot more basketball games. Gracie, Gracie started for Danielle. Um, Danielle tweaked her back this morning and shoot around. And she went out and tried to give it a go in warm-ups. And, um, you know, it was hurting her pretty bad. And she didn't think that she could, could, could help the team there. And so we pulled her with about 10 minutes before the game. She decided not to play. But um, she'll be back ready to go on Saturday.